and for Indiana. Benedict Mathurin is out there with Pascal Siakam. And there's Miles Turner. And there's Tyrese Halliburton. And it's McConnell in at the one. And they're up right now, but it hasn't been because of him. He's really struggled on offense. Here's Siakam. Rebound, Boston. See, what a rough quarter for him. Nothing seemingly going his way. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And it's going to be on Miles Turner. A deceptive guard. Holiday draws fouls by keeping his defenders always on their heels over the course of the game. He misses the free throw. He's put in the work and worn down the defense. Now they're getting a little sloppy, and it's allowed them to get to the line more this half. He hits the second from the line. At the least, he did extend it to a two-possession game. That's important. Bounce pass from McConnell. White against Halliburton. Now, here's McConnell. He's guarded closely. Shot clock at six. Fires top of the key. And it's sent back by White. And that's out of bounds. Indiana will retain possession. From deep three-point land. An excellent defender. The way Holiday disrupts and stays active and engaged on this end. Outstanding. Out that one. Holiday's got the lead up to six now for the Celtics. Now he's been locked all the way in from the floor. He's been able to lose another win right now. Horford against Siakam. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. That one is on Holiday. I'm just so impressed with Siakam's offensive improvement over the years. I mean, he's mastering the ability to play in attack mode. First free throw is good. A big man who can score, rebound, and pass. This is why Siakam has become a huge piece of this team. Jalen Brown's checked in for Boston. And the Pacers also making a change. Nemhard's checked in. Siakam hits them both. And not a single free throw attempt in that first half, but he has been far more active since the break and drawn some fouls. On the wing, Holiday. Pass to Persingas. Celtics passing it around. Outside, White. Back at six. Siakam pulls it in. Siakam's got his sixth rebound on the night. And it's Mathur in missing. Austin leading by four. And White kicks to Brown. On the wing, Holiday. Pass to White. Brown against Mathur. With the shot. And it's Brown missing. 
he hasn't had his best game, but they've gotten enough production elsewhere, so it hasn't really mattered. Siakam's shot is off. And so Holiday will bring it up for Boston. Passes to Persingas. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. That's 10 points for Persingas. And a little contact won't go a long way against Porzingis. What a display of physicality. And Derek White picks up the foul. That's his third foul of the game. I mean, I like the call. I thought the defense was just there a little late. Tatum, he's checked in for Al Horford. Here's McConnell. Outside Turner, five to shoot. Over Porzingis, Porzingis with the block. And with that 7-6 wingspan, Porzingis has always been a big-time shot block. Tatum with it. Three-pointer. They get the rebound. Good work eventually by Turner. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the future. And once again, off the mark by Indiana. Austin leading by six. Here's White. And no good. Good work eventually by Turner. Indiana's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Siakam against Tatum. Rebound, Boston. Now the fast break. Tatum with the ball. One fifty-seven left in the fourth quarter. Round the pass to White and stolen by McConnell. And Tatum pulls it down. Boston shooting 43% for the game. Here's Brown, and it's good off the back of the rim and in. And the Celtics lead by eight. And each year, it seems Brown keeps getting better at shooting the ball, especially from the mid-range. And the Pacers call time here. They trail by eight. 135 left in the game. And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Drew Holiday. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. And Greg, to play like he has under the most intense circumstances here in the playoffs makes it all the more remarkable. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alder. During that last break, Kevin, we got a chance to hear Rick Carlisle's message to his team. And he begged his guys to get after it on the break. He said, let's keep up the tempo, guys. You know how dangerous we are on the break. Be confident with the ball. Take risks. Move it, guys. Thank you, David. And let's get your guys' take now on the hustle steps for Boston. Great heads-up defensive play tonight, creating offensive opportunities for themselves by forcing deflections. Two shots. And, and another thing they've really excelled at tonight is protecting the rim. Shooters keep getting their shots squatted away by 
by this squad. That's the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. We talked about Tatum's offense, and for good reason, but his play on the defensive end is really valuable for this team. So he drops them both. It's an eight-point game. We've got 118 left in the fourth quarter. Halliburton again. And the pass to Nemo. And at the top of the key, Turner. Pass to Matherin. Jacks up a three. Rebound, Boston. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Yeah, you know, straight up, guys. Like, he's ice cold, like freezing. It's colder than cold. But you don't have to shoot it, my guy. It's okay to pass the ball. And White kicks to Holiday. Cam's the 12 footer. Holiday's got the lead up to 10 now for Boston. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. And that score probably slams the door for any would-be comebacks. And look, they put this one to bed. And here's White. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. And this win puts them squarely in the driver's seat in this series. Up now, Greg, two zip with all the momentum on their side. I mean, in fantastic shape right now. If they can capitalize on this victory and win game three, you can just about put this series to bed. You got it. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Jason. It was a struggle last time out, but tonight we were back on track. What was the difference? Uh, you got to have a short-term memory. Uh, sometimes shots just throw away, but you always got to be aggressive and just make the right play. You're like a cornerback in basketball. That's weird, but it got you a win tonight, man. Congrats. Back to you. Thank you, David. And so this one is in the books. We hope you've enjoyed being with us for the Eastern Conference Finals. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.